What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Miles with Holiday World out of Dallas, Texas. And today we're taking a look at this 2023 Keystone Alpine 3790 FK. For 2023, this is going to be one of the biggest kitchens you will find in a fifth wheel. It is absolutely amazing what they do with the kitchen space in here. Plus you have the biggest shower that you will find in any fifth wheel anywhere on the market and a ton of other great features, including some changes for 2023. So let's go. Hey, welcome back to another video. If this is your first time tuning into one of my videos, I'm super excited that you're here. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you do get something out of this video, consider hitting the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you would like to connect with me on other social media platforms, links to my Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook are down below in the description where you can find other RV-related content that I upload regularly. And then finally, if you are interested in this RV, keep in mind I am in a sales position. I do not get paid by my company to come out here and make these videos. I just do this on my own time in hopes of finding people like you that might be interested in this RV. So I would love to personally assist you in helping you make this RV yours. So you can either text me at the number on the screen there or there is a link down below in the description that you can fill out with some basic information that will help me best help you. So go down there and fill out that information if you are interested in this RV and let's get into the video. All right, y'all. So this is the 2023 Keystone Alpine 3790 FK, FK standing for front kitchen. So out of all the RVs I have out here and all the fifth wheels, this 3790 FK Alpine is going to have the biggest kitchen out of any of them. And you'll see that when we go inside. I'm here at Holiday World of Alvarado today. So this is actually about an hour away from my Mesquite location just outside of Dallas, Texas, where I'm at on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, a lot of y'all know I'm in a sales position. I don't get paid to come make these videos, but this is my dedication to getting videos of these 2023s for y'all. I drove an hour down here today just to get videos of some of the 2023s that have made it here, that have not made it to my Dallas lot yet that we can sell you out of either one of our locations. So if you are interested in this RV, keep in mind I am in a sales position and would love to earn your business, whether you're in the Dallas area, the Fort Worth area, or anywhere else around the country, this is an RV I can get for you. So, but came down here today to get a video of it because we got some of these 2023s in here that I was just so excited to get videos of. So with this Alpine, a couple things to point out. First of all, this is a hundred inch wide body construction. So within Keystone's hierarchy, you have both the Alpine and the Montana that are going to be some of Keystone's biggest fifth wheels, most luxury fifth wheels that they make. They're their two top luxury full profile fifth wheels and they pretty much compete with one another. We're lucky to have both at the same location, both here and at my Mesquite location just outside of Dallas. But the Alpine is four inches wider than the Montana and also comes with a couple other additional features like an electric power cord reel and a tankless on-demand water heater and a touchscreen control panel that links to your phone, all standard on the Alpine. So I think this is a huge value that you get with the Alpine, plus this floor plan layout is amazing that we'll see when we get inside. But let's go through some of the outside features real quick. First of all, this is a windshield, so you might be able to see that little puck light in the kitchen area there. Really nice, very, very dark tinted glass windshield that you have. You have the docking LED light here that will illuminate the space if you're setting up your hitch under darker conditions. You have the patented Keystone hitch vision plate, so you'll be able to see how the bed of your truck is lining up with the pin box here as you back that up. And this is one of the biggest hitch vision plates on any of the Keystone RVs. And then you have your Road Armor pin box up here. This is going to rotate forward and backwards as you brake and accelerate with your fifth wheel hitch. Also have this rubber bushing here that will allow that to absorb a lot of that shock, giving you a more comfortable towing experience. And then as you come down underneath here, you're going to have what would be your storage space. It also is somewhat prepped out to fit a Cummins Onan generator, which right now it's about a three to six month wait to even get one of those if you can get one. But it doesn't have the wiring prep for a generator on this model, so that is something that would need to be done as well where everything that would be wired to the generator would have to be wired to the RV, which is a pretty elaborate project if that is something that you're wanting. So most people wanting a generator will usually just plug the generator into the side of the RV and get like a nine or 12,000 watt generator to run the RV if that's something you wanna do. But that gives you a huge storage space up here. And then in this compartment here, you have all of your um, solar setup stuff here, and then you have all your hydraulic lines for your auto leveling and your hydraulic slide outs. So back behind these lines here, you have the 30 amp solar charge controller, and then you have your battery disconnects, you have your inverter, and you have your um, transfer switch. So if it's transfer switch, I'm guessing that's actually gonna transfer the, um, you know what? The transfer switch is usually for a generator. So that's something that, I'm kind of curious on. I haven't actually seen the transfer switch in here before or recognized that. So 
have to, if you have an idea of what the transfer switch may be for, since there is not a generator in here, maybe it's just for in the future if you had a generator. I'm not exactly sure actually. So that's something that I just came across that is a little different that I didn't expect to see. But you have the 30 amp solar charge controller because this does have the 400 watt uh, solar system. I know it looks kind of crazy in here. It really actually is not as crazy as it looks on camera. Um, if y'all saw Courtney um, from the Flipping Nomad in her ultimate Montana, you know that when you get a lot of solar equipment in here and things like that, cables start to get all over the place. Courtney's looked like five times crazier than this because she had three solar charge controllers and two inverters and all kinds of crazy stuff. But really not that bad. It's actually pretty out of the way from like your space here. And then you have this big, completely open space over here. So they just kind of crammed everything into this one spot there. Then as you come around to the campsite, this is going to have an auto leveling system. So you'll have a six point hydraulic auto leveling. So you'll have four stabilizers up in front of the axles and two more behind the axles. Solid slam latch doors on your doors over here. This will be your battery compartment where the 2023s are now coming with two Dragonfly Energy 100 amp hour lithium batteries. So you now have two lithium batteries coming from the factory. That's about a $2,000 to $2,500 value that you're getting there directly from the factory that you don't have to worry about putting on additionally after purchasing your RV. You also have a solar plug here too. So if you wanted to put a panel just on the ground that would be plugged in there to expand upon the solar system, you can do that too. But this does already have two 200 watt panels on the roof of the RV. Coming down underneath here, this is going to be your storage space. Now this is not a pass-through storage, so it is cut off there. You have your wiring panel here, so you can see, um, let's take this off actually. This is part of the in-command touchscreen control panel system where you're gonna have all your wiring accessible right here with a legend to see where everything goes. So all your wires for all the electrical components on that in-command system are all here and accessible. So if you have any troubleshooting that needs to be done, everything is right in this panel. Every single wire, wire is color coordinated which a lot of manufacturers do not do. They just use all solid white cables on a lot of different brands. Um, but you have all the color coordinated wiring with your legend here that shows you where everything is located at. Um, down underneath here, you can see this is all aluminum framed. You also have your wrap subfloor underneath here and all of your framing will have welds on both sides of the frame. You have a light in here as well and you have an outlet here if you need to plug something in. So this is not the biggest storage space ever, but that is because of the um, front kitchen setup. You also have an outlet here, and this is an inverted outlet. So with that 400 watt solar system, you'll actually get power to these inverted outlets from the batteries that are being charged from the solar panel, going through the inverter, being inverted to turn that 12 volt power into 110 to get it to your outlets. So any of the inverted outlets will work off that battery system. Um, but you don't have the biggest storage compartment there because you do have more storage back here. And as we work our way back, you'll also see you have your really nice looking wheels and then your road armor suspension where this road armor suspension, the road armor is going to give you six inches of travel. So three inches up and three inches down. A lot of this, or oftentimes this is compared to the more ride suspension system that only gives you three inches of travel. So you actually get more travel distance with this road armor suspension and is one of the best ones coming out of the factory. You have a 12 inch I-beam frame underneath here and it is a, a drop frame up front. So that is a 10 inch uh, drop frame there. That is going to increase your storage space up front. And then you have a fully enclosed and wrapped underbelly. So all your water tanks and water lines sit above the insulation here. And this is going to be your space where the water tanks and water lines um, are getting heat fed to them. So in that cavity underneath there, the water tanks and water lines sit above the insulation in the same cavity where the furnace duct runs. So whenever you're running that furnace, it'll be sending radiant heat into that area as well to make sure that your water tanks and water lines don't freeze. In addition to that, you will also have 12 volt heat pads on all your water tanks. So if you're traveling with water in your tanks and you're not running your furnace, you can still make sure to flip on those heat pads so that nothing there happens with those heat or with those water tanks freezing. You have a hydraulic slide out mechanism here. So this is a rack and pinion style slide out and it is a hydraulic slide out. So that is going to mean this goes in much quicker than your electric slide outs and is a lot quieter as well. Then you have your spare tire underneath here and your big storage compartments. So you'll have two all the way pass through storage compartments that go all the way through to the other side. So this will be identical to that right there. You have these latches here that hold them in place. So it's a little pin there that you flip up. will allow that to shut. And it's just a slam latch door there, so that will slam closed. And then back here, this is going to be a little different where this is just a shallow 
storage compartment there. Again, again, slam latch. And then you have a big storage compartment in the back here with, should have, yeah, heat going into this cavity there. And it looks like you have a light in here as well and that's pretty much it. But yeah, so you'll have that space back in here for additional storage as well. Definitely useful for full-time living. You have backup camera prep and you also have side camera prep. And then you can see all your storage compartments on this side as well, accessible from this side. An electric power cord reel. So your power cord is actually tucked behind here. I don't have the key for it, but you have this control here. This will allow the power cord to come in and out on a reel so you don't have to figure out where to store that power cord and you will not have to lug that heavy power cord around because it is heavy. So I love that it comes with that standard as well too. Um, for your drain valves for the water tanks, it looks like you have probably a black and gray tank right there. Um, yeah, that's gonna be the black and gray tank for the bathroom in the back right here. So you'll have one dump station there and then you will have a gray tank up front there for the kitchen. So that'll be your two different dump stations. This one here is just a gray tank. The other one is a black and a gray tank in the back. So just a gray tank up front. Nice that you don't have another black tank up front to worry about. Tankless on-demand water heater. So theoretically you have unlimited hot water in this Alpine as well. And then you have a sewer storage hose compartment area there as well. Water hookup station. I love that it's on a door that swivels out like this. Not one that flips up this way and stops right here. So you don't have anything to duck underneath. You have your 25 foot coil hose for your outdoor shower. You have satellite hookups if you did want to put a satellite on this RV, although most people just use smart TV stuff like a Roku or Apple TV or anything like that. Um, tank flush, so this is going to flush out your black tank with pressurized water and then all your water hookups are in this area here, plus your gray tank pull valve for that kitchen gray tank there. All your water lines will come through here, so if you're hooking hoses up through there, they'll come up through the bottom of the RV and you can keep this door closed. Then Alpine, they put both of their propane bottles on the same side. So you have them both in the same compartment right here. And you have your auto leveling controls with the EQ system. And this will link to your phone as well. And that is just about everything on the outside of this Alpine. A lot of the excitement is inside. So let's go ahead and hop inside this Alpine. So as we go inside, you'll see that you have two awnings here. It's gonna cover about three quarters of the length of your RV. I just realized too, I did not get up on the roof, which is something I would like to do um, to show you what's kind of going on up there. So let me hop up there real quick. I hate when I do this, when I say I'm gonna go inside and then I'm like, oh, wait, hold on, just one second. So you have your Coleman Mott Q-Series ACs up here. Um, you're gonna have three of them. And then you have your uh, two 200 watt solar panels giving you 400 watts of solar. Fully walkable roof, fully walkable slide out boxes, and you have a second solar plug connection here. So if you wanted to add more solar panels, you could do that up here as well with that second plug connection right there. So that's everything up on the roof. Let's hop back down and go inside. Now, as we head inside, first of all, you're gonna have the solid step going in. It's the Lippert solid step. So this is gonna give you a really big top step there as well. And wanna point out that it is strut assisted. So when you lift this up, you can see it'll go up and stay up on its own and no worry about this falling and hitting you on the head or anything like that. You also have your outdoor speakers right up above the door here as well. This also has the polar pack. So a lot of people ask, oh, is this RV um, four seasons rated? Really all an RV needs to be rated for four seasons is to have an enclosed underbelly with heat going to it. And that's pretty much it. That's the only requirement. So when a lot of people ask that, I, what, I know what you really mean is can you live in it full time for four seasons or can you use it in all four seasons? You definitely can use this Alpine in all four seasons. Alpine also has a full time camping warranty. So if you're full timing in this RV, they do cover that warranty as well. Um, same with Montana and Cougar from Keystone. And um, with this Alpine, you have some additional features making it more comfortable for weather conditions. Because again, when it comes to like, um, four season ratings and stuff like that, or, or RVs being four seasons capable. A lot of people get caught up on R values and insulation and things like that. The thickness of these walls and everything is pretty universal in RVs. There are some slight differences on maybe like super, super, super high end models that are, you know, a couple hundred thousand dollars. But overall, I tell everybody too, there's just like styrofoam insulation in these sidewalls. And if you've ever held a cup of coffee, 
whether the styrofoam is this thick or this thick, your hand doesn't get hot because it's styrofoam and it's doing the insulation with the styrofoam regardless of how thick it is. It'll make a small marginal difference. But really what makes this comfortable for living in full time is having the third additional AC. So you have a third AC in here plus the AC up front and the AC in the bedroom. So that's um, three 15,000 BTU ACs on here. And then you also have the 12 volt heat pad. So if you're um, traveling, and close to freezing or below freezing temperatures, you have that increased um, protection for your water tank so that they don't freeze. Now, as we look around here, you're going to have a really nice living arrangement here, kind of the same you would see in like a front living or rear den type of setup. And you have a pullout sofa here and a pullout sofa on the other side. So really two beds that can be made out here. These are gonna make into full size beds. And then you have a 50 inch screen TV, a fireplace that will be an electric heat source for you. You also will have heat pumps in your ACs as well, so you can get heat from the ACs. And then your slide out boxes in here are six foot 10 inches tall. So a taller slide out box than a lot of other fifth wheels, um, not all fifth wheels that are full profile fifth wheels have slide out boxes this tall, gives it a bigger feel, plus the 100 inch wide body construction gives it a bigger feel as well. Above your TV, you have unobstructed storage all the way through here, a, a two tier shelf system there, nice glass finishes on these doors and they're all soft clothes as well. Have your sound system there with the speakers pointing directly towards the recliner seats. And these seats will recline here. They are power recliners or actually, no, sorry. They have heat and massage and then your pull strap will allow them to recline. And on these ones, they're pretty dang close to the back wall. So they're not going to lay all the way down flat. Now, if this is something you were really, really picky about, this will lay down flat. They have to put this at the location that it's at so these slide out boxes will close. But if you wanted to um, unsecure these from the subfloor there and move them forward just a little bit when you're at your camp, uh, camp spot, that will allow you to lay that recliner all the way flat there. You also have a wireless charging, cord or, uh, charging pad here as well. So you have a spot there that you can just drop your phone on and it will charge your phone. You have day and night shades in all your windows. So have both a day and night shade there to either keep the sun out of your RV or you know, give you a little bit of shade as well. Also have a nice coat closet, storage space, and more storage up here. Again, all soft clothes on all this stuff here. So that's everything for your living space. Now going up into the kitchen, you have your controls for your tankless on-demand water heater and your touchscreen control panel. This will link to your phone. So everything that this panel controls here your phone can also control whenever you're within Bluetooth range. So lots of different stuff there that you can control with your phone. You have the steps coming up into the kitchen, central vac hose connection. You have a drawer here for storage. And this here is your breakers and fuses. And then look at this kitchen space. Absolutely amazing in here. It is so huge. Doesn't have an island in it, so it gives you a ton of floor space and you have such an ample amount of countertop space. It is insane. Definitely no shortage of countertop space in this Alpine and no shortage of storage space either. You have the pantry right there. And I'm not gonna open every single drawer and cabinet in here because there are just so many, but look at all the cabinets down underneath your sink area here. See, this is gonna be somewhat of a shallow one. And then you'll have this all the way down underneath here under your sink area that goes all the way back to the back wall all soft closed cabinets with magnet latches to hold those doors in place and then you have all of these different cabinets up here with shelving storage up above here a nice windshield so you can see out into nature wherever you're at and you do have a privacy pull down shade there that will drop down as well um, goes into this rail system actually like so so it'll stay in place there So nice privacy shade, but I love the windshield you have a dual sink system So you have the big sink there on the left and then you will have your smaller sink on the right Stainless steel sink nice looking faucet that does detach and move around and has a sprayer on it as well That's just the pink antifreeze fluid that is in all the water lines when it comes from the factory So no really concern with that. That's the winterization fluid that is in every RV on every RV lot around the country when they come in from the factory um, And that gets flushed out 
once you purchase your RV. Open this up, you have more storage over here. And then again, more storage down underneath here as well. So just so much storage space. You have a three burner stove here, a nice big cooktop area here. Because it is in the slide out of the RV, you can see it can only go down to that lip here. So this oven and stove setup is the biggest one they could fit in this, in this particular configuration. Window here, because they are all frameless windows, this is how they open up here. So even if it's raining outside, a lot of times you can open this window without having to worry about too much moisture getting in the RV. Have another inverted outlet there. Again, look, even just behind the stove here, you have so much countertop space. All this countertop space here, your oven here, definitely going to be able to fit like a pizza or a turkey or something like that in there, since those are the two things I hear referenced the most with oven sizes for whatever reason. Three pull-out drawers, nice, soft, easy glide mechanism there. And then look at how big this storage space is under here. This thing could literally fit one or two small children back here. It's absolutely massive. And again, soft clothes on that as well. Another big storage space above the microwave. And then you have your convection oven and microwave combo right there. While we're here, let's look at the price as well. The MSRP on this model with the additional options that are on it, including, it's actually that third AC is a 13.5 BTU, 13,500 BTU AC there. You have a 400 watt solar system, the 200 amp hour heated lithium batteries, gets you to an MSRP of 152,677. So the sales price will be well, well below that. And many of y'all that watch my videos before know that I'm in a sales position, but for y'all that don't typically watch my videos, or this might be the first time you've seen one of my videos, I'm in a sales position, so I'm not on any marketing team or anything like that. I don't get paid by my company to come out here and make these videos. I come out here and do this on my own time, and I'm actually at a whole different location than where I'm normally at on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm normally out of my Mesquite, Texas location, 15 minutes outside of downtown Dallas, and I came down to my Alvarado location south of Fort Worth about an hour away just to make these videos for y'all in hopes that someone like you might see this RV and be interested in it, and trust me enough, to earn your business when the time comes that you are ready to purchase your next RV. So if you are interested in this RV, there is a description or there's a link down below in the description that's my RV inquiry link that you can go fill out. You can give me your name and number so I can reach out to you as soon as I'm available. It will come directly to my inbox and just let me know what RV it was that you saw and how I can best help you out, whether you need purchasing information, you have a trade-in, or you wanna come take a look at this RV in person, go down to that link down below in the description and let me know how I can best help you. Now, if you like this RV and you don't particularly care what salesperson you work with, obviously I would love for you to come to me and I would love to help you out personally since I can do that. But if you don't mind who you work with and maybe you're in the Houston area or in New Mexico or in another state and a different location will work better for you than my Mesquite location, you can pick one of our other locations and one of our other salespeople will reach out to you as well with the information you need. And they'll know that you came from seeing one of my videos. So um, that's just, my little spiel there on hopefully you'll come to me when the time comes that you're ready to get your RV. But if not, I understand, but I do put in all this work to try to hopefully help someone like you find your next RV. So if I can help you out in any way, just let me know. Now let's look at this area here real quick. You have a really nice table area here. So tons of countertop space here can be used for the kitchen. Two outlets can also be a desk space. I've heard a lot of people using this as a desk space on the road for full-time living or anything like that. And then you have the two chairs here. These will have storage up underneath them. So that will flip up for some storage. They're currently strapped in there, which is how they'll be in the transport mode. Lots of space here as well for different items that could be put there. And then you have your residential refrigerator. This will screw out so that that will hold the doors in place while it's in transit. Open this up. It is a Samsung refrigerator, residential Samsung refrigerator. Has a nice maker in it and a nice big tray under there. So this is about an 18 cubic foot refrigerator, plenty of space in there. You have the AC in the kitchen as well that is going to have the MERV 9 residential grade air filter. So this is a residential air, air filter, same one that you would have in your home. Going to keep not only your air significantly cleaner, but also keep the ducting in your RV cleaner over the lifespan of owning your RV. So love that. Love that they have these with these Coleman Mont Q series ACs. Super quiet AC system as well. 12 decibels quieter than your standard AC system and just a very efficient system, especially with the blade AC vents that give you air coverage in a 360 degree motion. This is going to significantly increase the airflow coming out of your vents there. Now it's not a directional vent, so you won't feel it directionally hitting you quite as much, 
but it's gonna spread air out more evenly across your RV to cool it down quicker for you. And it's also ducted down both sides of the RV. So you can see you have ducting coming out of both sides of this AC all the way down to the rear AC. Nice light fixtures here above this dining table slash desk area as well. And then that's pretty much everything in the living space and the kitchen. So let's go back to the bedroom where you'll have your king size bed. You have reading lights above each individual. You will have a sliding pocket door here as well. And you'll have an outlet on this side of the bed with a little nightstand area and another outlet down under there. So plenty of outlets on this side, another outlet on this side as well. The bed will lift up and you will have storage underneath it that's all framed out. It's a nice framed out storage under there. It comes with an upgraded Serta mattress that's kind of like a memory foam mattress, so not your regular crappy RV mattress that it comes with. You have a nice looking headboard, um, privacy shades on both your windows on the side. You have a dimmer switch for all four lights in this bedroom as well, so you can dim those. You have a speaker in here as well. Have your AC in here with the MERV 9 residential grade air filter your TV here, your window, a tabletop space, three pull-out drawers. Good for socks and underwear for sure, and maybe some shorts or something like that. And then you'll have your wardrobe closet space with your clothing rod up above. So you have your clothing rod up there. That's going to allow your hangers to go this way so they don't hit the wall or anything like that. So the hangers will be able to go this way. So you'll have your shirts all forward facing for you in there. Same thing underneath here as well. All your shirts or whatever you hang in there will be forward facing for you. And you'll have identical storage on this side. That'll all be the same. And then going to the bathroom. This is one of my favorite things about this RV. You have the sliding pocket doors going to the bathroom. Those will come together, have magnets there to hold them together. And you have the biggest shower in any fifth wheel RV on the market. Porcelain toilet with a plastic toilet seat. Um, one thing I would love to see changed on something in this, uh, luxury level with Keystone is like on their fusion toy haulers that are their top of the line toy haulers they have, they have a wooden soft closed toilet seat. Now this is a plastic toilet seat. You can change this out with any residential elongated toilet seat that you may want, but I would love to see them switch this out for that wooden soft closed toilet seat. So I hope to see that change come soon. Porcelain toilet there. And then look at this shower. This is a four foot by four foot shower that is absolutely huge. You can see with my feet in here, how much extra space is all around here. I mean, you can easily fit two or three of me in here. You have a really nice looking shower setup with the soap holder here. It is an adjustable shower head, so you can move this up and down. Can easily stand under this. This has a taller shower height than any other fifth wheel I've ever seen, where the shower height in here to this point is probably about six, six. And then in the skylight, you have probably up to about six, nine that you could comfortably fit in this space. So if you're really tall, this is a great shower for you. You, I mean, this is well above my head. I mean, I'm way under this. So you could probably be about six, four and still have this sit above your head without having to lift it up. Really, really big space in here. If you're also heavy set, um, no worry whatsoever about hitting your elbows or anything like that being uncomfortable in here. Really big bench space to sit and you have your different shelving for different soaps and whatnot. And this is all a fiberglass one piece residential grade shower there. So absolutely love that shower. It is so impressive every time I see it. You have a vent fan in here, your AC vents up on the roof as well. And then you have your washer dryer connections in here. So if you want a washer dryer, that would go in this space or this is just additional clothing storage or whatever you want to use it for. You have your um, central vac hose. Storage up above here to the back wall. Storage here that will go almost to the back wall. And then you have all this countertop space here with an outlet. So lots of things you could plug in back in that area. Your two sinks, this will have a heavy duty. This is like a, I always forget the name of this material, um, but it's a really nice solid material there. I always forget the name. I'm so annoyed that I can't remember what the material is called, but it's, it doesn't feel like a plastic. That's what I can say, it's much more thick and durable. It might still be a plastic, but it's, it's much thicker and more durable. You have a two tiered shelving space here. Open this up, same thing there. And then you have your two medicine cabinets that will open up. So plenty of storage in this bathroom. You also have the inverted outlet there. And 
a very fair amount of floor space as well. But really, really love that shower. That is definitely the standout point. That and your kitchen up front really set this thing apart and make it such a cool option if you're looking to live in full time and you prioritize that shower and kitchen space. So let me know what you think of this model down below in the comments. I would love to hear from you and let's wrap this video up. All right, y'all, that's all I got for you. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And like I mentioned earlier in the video, I am in a sales position. So if you are interested in this RV, I would love to personally help you out in making it yours. I traveled an hour to get here today and it's you know a day that I could be out trying to sell an RV and I'm here making the videos for you that I don't get paid by my company to make in hopes that down the road when someone like you watches this video, you will have got enough value from me to feel like I have earned your business and just know that I will take care of you the absolute best that I can, not only through purchasing your RV, but also giving you the best experience possible with owning your RV. And if you're not an experienced RVer, I have a wealth of knowledge I would love to help you out with in finding the best floor plan for you. So I'd love to help you out in that regard as well. And that's all I got for y'all. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you're interested in this RV and need more information, you can text me at the number on the screen there, or even better, there's a link down below in the description where you can leave your name and contact information. So as soon as I am available, I can get you all the information that you need. And that's all I got for y'all. Until next time, I'll see you out camping.